Hello Circle Sitters and welcome to the video. So what is a spirit team? What are, what is a spirit team? A spirit team is a strong group of individuals, non-physical individuals, that are providing the spiritual space all the time. These can be known as gatekeepers, guides, it could even be relatives. This is a group of spirits which with a number of individuals sat in a circle on a, on a weekly basis, once or twice a week, are there to empower, energize with, with love, with healing, to, to really hold the space, to help anchor in the space. Because physical individuals just alone cannot just create phenomena and contact. They need that help bridging the physical and the non-physical uh, realities to connect. So it's having that really strong connection with a guide, a Passover loved one, a gatekeeper, in in a very strong environment. And in doing so, those that you connect with in the spirit team can then connect with others that probably need help, who will bring forth information for, for whatever purpose that you have and desire. Some circles that I know of um, have strong spirit teams to do with uh, uh, spirit photography, uh, physical mediumship, painting, readings, um, as well as trance work. The list goes on spiritually. So it's kind of like imagining a business. You have the employees in the front line, you have like the, the management team, you have the the, the, the PR, um, HR, you have officers, cleaners, etc. And it's like you have within this, this company, you have this team that are all working together, doing their own thing. So within spirit circles, your spirit team, when you are working spiritually and you know that you have this strong connection with a being, a spirit, then that those spirits can then communicate with other spirits that bring forward information or creativity to bring that information to, to the mediums at present or those that are connected. Now, everyone, anyone be can become a medium. Anyone can become psychic because we all are naturally at nature. We all have the ability. It's just persistence, patience, dedication, trust and belief that really helps to anchor in those spiritual muscles that we don't usually use so much. This can take many years, it can take a little bit of time, it can, it, it can take time. You can't expect to go into the gym and build muscles very, very fast. You can notice the growth on people after many years when they look big and bulky and they got toned to their body because they look after themselves physically. The same spiritually, because those who work on a weekly basis, daily basis, will grow stronger with, with the power of spirit, with the power of love, and be more connected to their spirit team and those that they work with. There are lone wolves, which individuals who are not part of groups, but just sit with themselves, sit in the power as we call it. And they are unable to they are able to connect with spirit guides, loved ones, gatekeepers, um, more so. Um, because they have that dedication, they have that temperament to connect always. So having a spirit team is very, very important. You may be aware of one, you may not be. But life doesn't just end here on earth, it continues. And those that have had a desire, a huge desire in in the non-physical, in in mediumship, in psychic uh, circles, will continue their growth, their knowledge, and their energy because they've built up this energy, this blueprint within themselves that they can give. They understand about the energies, and so these individuals, these souls, these spirits that pass over, can then utilize their abilities to assist people in the physical, in the physical world. Us those that are watching this now, physically. I know of many masters, teachers, 
handful of them of, in my own life that have passed over to the Word of Spirit who have been great teachers, who have helped, you know, with my journey spiritually, who are no longer around physically, but they are closer to me more spiritually because they are there when I do spiritual work most of the time. Sometimes they come and go. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. But the spirit team that you work with, will they work with you, will be an almost immediate connection. That you have like a, a written contract to connect with each other. And so your connection will be strong, will be very easy, and it will take time. Just remember that time is your best friend and keep dedicated, no matter how tough sometimes you don't get anything. I know many experiences for myself when I've been in deep meditation over the years and I haven't had anything. I've sometimes fallen asleep. I've sometimes got something so strong in my mind I can't push it away. Sometimes I click out and I'm like, oh, was that half an hour? I don't remember anything. Sometimes I get ideas, creativity, inspiration. Sometimes I have visions. Sometimes I go into a dream. The thing is, it's never giving up because it's like the weather. The, the, the realities of, of meditation space, dream space, is always different, it's always changing. However, those that connect with you do not change. It is about having that belief and it's not just making it up in your head, it's when you start to get those signs, those spiritual feelings of perhaps smells, um, clairtangence, clair clairvoyance, uh, clairaudience. Um, you know, it's using these clairsentient abilities that strengthen our connection with spirit. And the more you connect in different ways and try different things, you'll find what works best and what is stronger and perhaps what is your purpose. Because I've always said this before, we are like X-Men, you know, we all have these different abilities and we're more stronger in certain ways. So just keep dedicated, Circle Sisters, and just sit for spirit, sit in the power, be dedicated, have faith and know that, you know, great things will happen. It's not a waste of time. It's sitting for spirit is never a waste of time. Just keep the faith and um, I believe strongly that you will have a great connection at some point in the near future, within weeks, months, a very deeper one and it will strengthen and get stronger each time. You do not need a medium in, in the circle. Everyone can become a medium and develop their own gifts. They may go on their own path at some point, but it is the de dedication of the circle in the same place, the same time, once a week at least. And when you do that, then magic does begin to happen. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, keep the faith. Love to you all. And I'll speak to you soon.